Okay, I'd like to try to another uh, speed run, but it seems like every time that I do these, I get screwed over and uh, they always fail. So I figured, well, maybe I'll record it and maybe it'll either, maybe it'll be less likely to fail or maybe it'll fail again and I can just show other people how much it always fails. Mm, chopping the wood, I'm a chopping the wood. I see piggies over there. It's gonna be good. Can get me some bacon. Bacon, bacon, bacon. I love bacon. Alrighty. Yum, wood. Delicious. There we go. Matos, matos. Get that so we can butcher some pork. So we can chop wood faster. So we can, you know, mine stone and all that jazz. Do, 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 and all that jazz. I haven't uh, really done commentary before, so uh, bear with me. I'm gonna be uh, having a hard time with uh, knowing what to say because it's like. <clears throat> Ostensibly, to have something to talk about, I have to first have a life, and I don't. <laughs> but I'll try to think of something. Let me see, when was the last time I had a life? Um, uh, hmm. Um, <laughs> I'll have to get back to you on that. I really should start chopping the trees from the bottom, yeah. Cause it's like, usually I used to like chop the second one up and then jump on the stump of the bottom one, but these trees aren't very tall, so it'd be faster if I just did it that way. I go through trouble picking up uh, saplings because they make good uh, firewood, and sometimes I get a lot of apples doing this. And then I look for gold, and I get gold apples, and that can come in handy in tight situations. Come here, pork! Have at thee! Uh, did his face glitch out? I couldn't tell there. I've been having that a lot lately. Like, I'd have chickens with blue sides of faces, and sometimes the cow's faces would turn blue or turn all weird or white when I kill them. I don't know, it's some random glitches, I guess. Ah, uh, he was fine this time. Must have just... My eyes were deceiving me. And he just up all my sword on this frickin' tree. Come on, pig. There you go. There. Pig. There. Tree pig. Get back here. It's like, it's weird how much the animals love to go in the trees in Minecraft. It's like, they might as well be squirrels. You just reskin them all into squirrels and it'll make a lot more sense. Oh yeah, and make all the chickens and cows into frickin' fish, because they love to swim all the time. Oh yeah, I haven't got a customized uh, skin yet because uh, my sister's friend is uh, sharing this account with me. Yeah, I think I got enough uh, meat to venture down now. But uh, yeah, someone, like, I got this account as, uh, as a gift from a friend uh, named Mike. Very cool dude. Shout out here. Um, and, uh, 
for a while I wasn't using it and so my sister was letting like I was I told my sister she could use it but then she ended up letting her friend use it so yeah and one time um oh cool one time I uh I did change the skin uh I actually changed it to a uh, Rithian from the Yogg's cast season two skin um because I'm a big fan and I thought it'd be cool to play as Rithian and uh uh, my sister's friend thought that she'd gotten hacked, so she changed the password, and I couldn't log back in. And so, yeah, she had to let her know, straighten it out, and like, no, no, that was just my sister. She she just changed the skin. It's okay. Because, <laughs> I mean, I can imagine her being shocked. Like, she has this fluffy girl as her uh, avatar, and then one day she goes in, and it's this scary ninja dude. <laughs> so, yeah, I... Uh, got that straightened out and, and got the password back and stuff, but uh, uh, I'll probably change the skin eventually to look more like myself, uh, eventually, but for now it's just plain Jane, not that you see it much anyway in, in these videos, but yeah, I figured I didn't want to scare her off again. Yeah, let's go ahead and make some charcoal, I guess. We haven't found that much coal yet. Oh, and right when I say that, I find more coal. Oh, might as well eat it up. Uh, yeah, might as well abort this then. Uh, okay, I, I should have... Uh, okay, there. <sighs> make better use of the fire while it's there, I guess. Oh yeah, this is plenty of coal. I don't need that charcoal. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I was quoting Ducky there from Land Before Time. Oh man, if any of you guys have like grown up in the 80s or 90s and have seen the original Land Before Time, you know, before it got all babied down, oh man, that was a good freaking movie. Don Bluth films, man, those were the best. But the sequels are like almost always for little babbies. Mm, got me some bacon. Might as well make some use of my old, uh, outdated tools here. Cause a lot of people don't know that you can uh, burn those. Not probably mostly because it's like certain things you can burn some you can't like you can use boards as fuel but you can't burn the boards to make uh, 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 charcoal it's weird like you, you can burn them in the bottom part but you can't cook them that's what I mean but, oh my gosh uh, me and my brother were even talking like do you imagine if some kids who have only seen the Land Before Time sequels were to then uh, were to then uh, watch the original movie, oh man, trauma and crying would totally ensue. <laughs> yes, that would be quite a tragedy. But yeah, it's like times have been changing so quickly now. Um, it's like you know, you always had your old people, like, darn kids these days, have been, uh, if they don't know how to appreciate the real art, and, and they don't have enough respect, and all that stuff, and get off my lawn, <laughs> but, and it's, and it's like, they always miss, you know, their old media, and the quality of it, and stuff, and now, you don't even have to be old. I mean, I'm 30, and, uh, uh, already I'm, like, longing for the old days and lamenting how the youth of today don't, you know, seem to have enough discipline and, and respect, and, yeah, it's, it's like us 90s kids and 80s kids, we're old people now. It, and, and, and the kids are like, oh, quit talking about your 80s and 90s. That stuff wasn't that great, and, and stuff. It's like, they don't get it. They don't have the context of the times, and, 
and uh, it's oh iron yay but yeah they they it's we all the times are changing so fast it 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 is like we're already old people and it's like what's it going to be like in the future when they change even faster it's, it's really weird i mean i hope that we can use that's water oh good this is pretty quick but yeah i it, it's like i don't want us to be so divisive over generation gaps especially when they're getting so small now but you know but sometimes the elders have a point ah oh. oh boy good cave already hopefully i can find some more materials oh. how about there I'm gonna get ya. Gotta watch out for death from above in these gullies. See, uh, oh, gold over there. There we go. Got an arrow. Always a good thing. But yeah, I I love and hate gullies like this. These uh, uh, what's the other name for them? Like canyons, but there's another one I'm looking for. Uh. Uh, uh, ravines. There's so many words for the same thing. It's a big old crack in the ground. It's a butt crack of the earth. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I love these for often having water and lava in them, but I dislike them for often resulting in death from above. Enemies just drop from the sky, land on your head, and bleh. Or at very least, ouch. Okay, let's get the bucket made, since we got the water right here that we need. Because, uh, yeah, for speed runs, we pretty much always need a bucket, and we need a uh, flint and steel. Here we go. Uh, to light the nether portal, because we have to get to the nether to get blaze powder to mix with uh, ender pearls, to make eyes of ender, to find the end fortress, to... Uh, uh, and then put them in the portal to get to the end. Um, yeah, I kind of forgot to uh, mention all that, uh, that for the speed run, we're pretty much using Set Seto Sorcerer's rules because he like literally wrote the book on uh, Minecraft speed runs. I'll uh, have a link in the description. But he, uh, oh, even more. Oh, this is good. Really nice start here. But yeah, he, uh, he pretty much made a good set of rules, which is start on a random map, random seed, uh, so you don't cheat and stuff, and uh, and it's got to be hardcore, so no losing lives allowed, and that's why I did, and uh, try to get to the end and uh, beat the uh, Ender Dragon as quick as you can. Um. So, yep, that's uh, what the we're doing. Let's see, so far, as far as I know, he's got the record on that, uh, time-wise. That was for an older version of Minecraft, though, so... Figuring, uh, maybe I can set a new uh, record for 1.6.3, or whatever this is. I think that, I think that's what it is. So they've changed some things since then. They've, uh, uh... Some of the changes are good, some not so good, in my opinion. It seems like hunger is a little bit more of an issue. And, uh... Um, also, uh... Uh, like, zombies do different stuff with their spawning and stuff. I haven't really seen much of a difference with the zombies yet. I guess if I notice, I'll whine about it or something. <laughs> Let's light this up as much as we can so we can get a, you know, at least a head start on seeing if they come from... <gasps> Lava! Is that a pool? It's a pool. Yes! There you go. Burn! Burn like the 
zombie you are. Alright, off to a good start. Let's see how this goes.